Uh, so here's a, a question that was asked by Marcelo, right? I gave a presentation about Agile certifications and some problems trying to understand the differences between the Just One Agile Coach and the Just One Agile Value Stream Consultant. Right? Yeah. Do you want me to answer that? Or do you want to give a shot? I, I'd say go ahead and, and, and I'll pile on top of it. Okay. So they're very complimentary. And um, we, we sort of, we, you know, at PMI, we talk about the newly redesigned Agile certification journey. Because it is a lifetime journey, and rather than having to go, across, you know, for uh, twelve different kinds of certifications, where a lot of there's a tremendous amount of overlap in what you learn, we've created a journey where you can start not knowing anything, and but over your over the years and over your career, you can move up to the advanced certifications, which are the DA coach and the DA value stream consultant. The DA value stream consultant really is the top tier. Uh, certification and there really is nothing out, out like it out there in the industry. Uh, value stream management and, and value stream mapping is really hot hot right now and for good reason because people are starting to figure this out that they need to look at the entire system and optimize the system. You know if I look at the most popular agile um, scaling framework out there of course is safe and unfortunately a lot of people plop that thing down on your existing insurance company and expect all of a sudden that you're going to be agile. You are not. <laughs> you're absolutely not. And we're, there's a lot of really high profile failures because people have done exactly that. Um, what you, If you're going to do safe, if that's the use case that makes sense for you, I would question whether it does. But if it does, and it does in a lot of situations, then that's good. But you really need somebody who can come in and customize that to for you. Choose, it's like your safe way of working, right? right. Um, right. So, so, so the point is, is that the difference between the two is a coach works, it's almost like bottom up. They work with the team, a team, sets of teams, complex situations, finds impediments outside the team. Like, gee, we can't deliver every two weeks because our database group won't approve our changes. They only do it once a month or something like that. Or we can't deploy every day because our release management does monthly uh, deployments. So they're impediment to me delivering value to the customer. So that's where a coach is trained to go work, work, understands DevOps. They go over to release management and help them change their ways of working so that the team can actually deliver what to the customer, what they build every day. So that's an example. A coach can help facilitate that process. Um, kind of bottom up, working up into the organization and, and sprinkling a bit of agility around. Whereas a value stream consultant kind of, as I said, holistic, sort of looks at the overall system, the overall end-to-end -end value stream, and looks for ways to optimize that. So it's more of a top-down, uh, around lens, if you will. The two two go very well together, um, very complementary, but they have slightly different focuses.